Welcoming Frank Warren officially to our studios for the first time. Frank, uh, great to see you. Busy year in 2008, but this year, with your three Olympians, it's going to be even busier. It is. I'm looking forward to it. It's the start of their journey and hopefully their quest to win uh, world titles. Uh, it's, you know, it's, it's very exciting times for British boxing. Now, the first thing I've got to ask you, Frank, about the three Olympians, and it's all the emails about it. You know what I'm going to do? I've got to ask you. I can't have you sit there and not ask you. Well, is, have you any, are you any closer to putting them somewhere? I don't mean in a B&B. Well, yeah, well, they're, they're getting, I'm pulling them out of them tomorrow. Uh, 28th of February, uh, we're, we're Matt Skelton's fighting against uh, Martin Rogan. Good, good, good nice. little fight. Don, Hall, Bro, Bro, Don Broadhurst is fighting uh, also on the same card. That's Commonwealth title defence. Yeah, he's defending that against Andy Bell. A lot of other fights, and also the three Olympians will make their debut on the same card. On Feb 28th? Feb 28th, NIA in Birmingham. Ooh. Big night for British boxing. Going back to Birmingham, that could have been, Birmingham, yeah. that's a tough old decision, Birmingham. It's been a hard city over the last 15 yeah, years. Yeah, well, I mean, I've, I've provided some good shows over there over the years, and it's been sort of a bit of a wasteland as far as shows have been sure. concerned. So uh, hopefully we can do that, what we've done in Manchester and what we did in Sheffield over the years, and start developing into a real regular fight town. Now, what about Amir? Because uh, I thought that we were going to make an announcement about Amir Khan today. Next Thursday, we're making an, uh, making an announcement about his date and who he's going to fight, and it'll be a, a decent fight for him. And... Uh, I'm looking forward to that as well. And is he going back to America soon, Freddie yeah. Roach, this week or next week? Saturday week he goes back to, to uh, train with Freddie Roach and he obviously be training with Manny Pacquiao as well around the same time. OK. Uh, now what about Michael Jennings, Miguel Cotto? Lots of talk about that. that that's done and dusted. We spoke to it's people about it. It's done and dusted it. and uh, the official announcement will be next week. Uh, Michael's flying out to New York next week. And that includes the official announcement of the broadcast. There's no good grinning. I mean, you've got to, I mean, that's, that's, that, well, that's not going to come I'm next sure, week. I'm sure that'll come next week as well. <laughs> We'll have to get you in next week. I'll come in next week. <laughs> what about, I'll tell you, Nicky Cook, you know, had to pull out uh, l yeah. late last year with a flu, was really unhappy, kicking walls in, smashing doors down, very unhappy boy. What's, what's Nicky got coming up? Well, it's a shame, really. He was supposed to fight against, um, uh, as you know, against Steve Foster Jr., yeah. and that's all gone by the wayside now because uh, Nicky's hit his mandatory period. He's got to fight against the number one, who's Martinez. So he's, uh, that, that will either we'll do a deal or it'll go to Perth Business next week. And it's, th it's that simple. You're going to have to do it that way. Yeah, one or the other. And uh, that'll go on the same show if I win the Perth Bids or I'll do a deal with Amir. On that 28th? No. Oh, Amir's oh, not on the 28th. Oh, okay. Amir's date we're announcing next Saturday. Pay attention. You've been watching I'm paying attention. I'm just trying to catch you out a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I just yeah, want, yeah. You better get up early to catch me out, son. <laughs> Fine enough, I was up early yeah. today, but not that early. Looks it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you about uh, Bradley Price, Gavin Ridge. Because last year, they, you know, they had a slow old year. They, I think, you know, it's, it's, well, it's, it will be. Yeah, it's been a bit of a fallout because of what happened with me and Joe and uh, Enzo. Uh, Enzo Kalzaki is Joe's father. He's joint manager with me, and we've managed yeah. them both. Um, they were offered fights. Bradley was going to fight Amir Khan last year. Sorry, uh, Gavin was going to fight Amir Khan last yeah, year, and unfortunately, uh, um, for whatever reason, he, he, he went on holiday. It didn't happen. Then he was going to fight on the undercard of Joe in the States. Uh, that didn't happen because he broke his nose. Uh, Bradley was offered a fight against um, um, uh, Matthew Hall, and he didn't take that. And so, uh, hopefully, he'll, they'll both be out sometime early in, in this year. Let's stick with another kid from that, Jim, Nathan Cleverly. I know he's only a baby, I know he's one of the kids that impressed you, and you pushed him, took a bit of a risk with a title fight, he came out brilliantly in the yeah. end. Uh, what's he got something like, he's got anything lined up? He's you know? going to defend his title in February, uh, and I'm looking forward to that. I've got, you know, I, I'm quite a big fan of his. Yeah, I know. You know he's won a title in a uh, in, in very short time, he's a quality fighter, he's, he's got a good boxing brain. And he found a bit of power last time out, and I think that's going to happen. And he was relaxing. Yeah, I think once he starts planting his feet a bit more, you know, and he'll he, he turn into a good puncher. Now, another kid you're a big fan of. Are you a big fan of uh, Del Boy, Derek Chisora? I know he's driving you. He drives everyone mad, Del Boy, but... Uh, I like him. I th I, I, what I like about him is that he, wants, he, he doesn't care who he fights. I mean, he's always on the phone, you know, can I fight this guy, can I fight Aldi Harrison, can I fight Rogan, I'll fight Matt Skelton. That's the nature of him, which is a good attitude sure. to have, but... Um, and some people say it and they don't quite mean it. You know, people don't know what goes on behind the scenes sometimes. You know, people, you know, it's all about promoters trying to stop fights from happening. You get fighters stopping fights from happening. But he, he wants to fight anybody. And I think, I think he's got the capability of, of really doing some, some, you know, some good things in boxing. You know, I like what I've seen up to now. And I think he's probably one of the best young heavyweights out there. I think he, uh, my, my gut feeling is after watching him in that Sexton fight when you put the two unbeaten guys together, he stepped up that night because he has a tendency. Yeah, he, did. he has a tendency, Del Boy, to be a bit lazy sometimes. Yeah, yeah, but he did, and he, and he sort of got the bit between his teeth, and uh, and, and, and he's very confident. About it. And you know, and Sam Sexton's, a, uh, you know, yeah, he's, he's, he's come he's back into it. You know, getting beat, getting a defeat is not the end of the world in boxing. It's how you come back from it. And Sam's come back well, and maybe those two will be a good rematch sometime this year. Yeah, I'd like to think so. Now you mentioned earlier on Amir Khan. Now one of the fights that's been doing the rounds, or so 
one of the fights that's been talked about, been floating around left, right and centre, especially up in Scotland, is Alex Arthur. And now he's moved up to lightweight against the Mirror. Is there even, even, uh, a, even uh, a grain of truth to it? I think that's a fight that could happen this year. You know, Alex is a former world champion. It, it, it was killing him to make the weight. He's now moved up, as you say, to a lightweight. And I think that's def a definite fight that could happen this year. I, I really do think that'd be a good fight for Britain and a good, and good fight for boxing. Now, I'm not letting you go yet. Another one of those kids, um, Kel Brook. He's only a baby. Yeah. Floating around, just finally, like this year, two fights this year, sort of came into his own this year. There he is there, Kel. Had a good win. It was at um, York earlier this year. Um, He's got, I know he's got to fight his boxing, uh, Stuart Elwell, I think, on the 30th of Jan. But with someone like Kel, he's only 22, folks. Still not that many fights. Would you try and push him beyond British level or European level this year? Or would you be happy with three or four uh, decent it, title it, fights? I mean, it, like de that? it depends how he goes. I mean, he's a young, as you say, he's a young fighter, but I think he's a quality fighter. And I think he's definitely one, one to watch. I think he's got the capability of doing some good things. Um, he had a little bit of problem in, the, in you know, uh, in the, uh, a couple of years ago, but he's overcome those, you know, with his yeah. weight and there was, you know, the, the training. Some outside of stuff. But that's all, that's all gone by the wayside. He's very focused now. And what I liked about him was his temperament that he actually went up to Scotland in the other guy's backyard. You know, Englishman yeah, going to Scotland, went and, and, and didn't around. cry about it, no, no, no. cry about it, went up there, done his business, won the fight. And I, I think he's, I think he's going to be a, a, a real quality fighter. I like what I see with Kelbrook. I mean, we've got a lot of good youngsters. It's why it annoyed me the other week, you know, I'm reading Joe saying that, yeah, I was you know, boxing, it's dead. You know, it's not dead. It's thriving and it's coming through. You know, the economy is hard. It's hard for everybody. Yeah. So we've got to, we, we got to all, all cut our cloth accordingly and, and do what we've got to do. But we've got some cracking young fighters. There's some good sport coming up on the TV. And, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to it. It's a challenge this year, but it's going to be, I think it's going to be an exciting challenge. Yeah,